Hey guys, this is Grant Dunn from workwithgrantdunn.com and in this video I want to show you how I actually have this really cool little pop-up feature um, so that when you know and you can program it and stuff like that but whenever somebody comes to my blog workwithgrantdunn.com uh, you'll see that I have this pop-up so if I just refresh the home page here I have this pop-up for uh, basically a capture page of one of my favorite affiliate products and services that I use and really uh, try to encourage my team to use as well so I just it's really neat this is actually the physical web page of um, of the capture page right so let me just show you where you can get this plugin we'll go to this address right here if you look up here it's wordpress.org forward slash forward slash extend forward slash plugins forward slash WP dash super dash pop up forward slash now that's what it's called WP super pop up okay and if you come over here you just click the download button and you can download it to your uh, computer now it's a zip file so you're not going to want to touch it once you download it but just download it to your download section or wherever you store those files you just save it to your computer and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back to the dashboard of your WordPress blog and you're gonna come under the plugin section and go to add new then come up to the upload feature here or the upload button click that and then what you're going to want to do is click this browse button and browse your computer for that file. So if you come up, I, I usually have mine in my download section and it should be in the zip format. And there it is right there, WP Super Pop-Up 0.9.6. Now, I would just normally double click this and get it inside the section here, but I've already got it downloaded to my computer or to my WordPress, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, the, that would show up right inside of here, inside this box, and you just go to install now. Okay? Now the next page, the next page is going to, as soon as this installs, it's going to want you to ask you to activate the plugin. You can just go ahead and activate it right away. And then what you'll find is down here at the bottom of your sidebar, on the left side, is you have this button called Super Pop-Up. You just click on that. Okay, so let me just go through the buttons so that you understand exactly what everything does. So I always have pop-up enabled because I, you know, I want my pop-up to be set. Uh, enable on mobile browsers, absolutely. Path is, paths exclusion. You're going to want the top checked here. Show the pop-up on all pages. If you want to not have it show up on some pages, you can put those pages in here so that it won't show up on those pages. Um, show the pop-up. You can have it show like once per day. So if a, if the same visitor comes to your site, um, they're only going to see the pop-up one time. And then if they navigate from one page to another, they're not going to see it again. Okay. Uh, you can have it set to every two days. So if they come and one day they'll see it, the next day they won't, the next day they will. All right. Um, or you can set it to where it's basically unlimited. And so I basically have it for every first 10,000 visits because what I want it to do is I want it to pop up on every page that the person navigates to from one page to another. Might be kind of annoying, but sometimes that will result in someone opting in and taking a look at what my offer is. Okay, and then what I do is I just take the URL for my capture page and, and paste it in right there. Right, that's my URL. So if you have like an affiliate product or something that it is, you know, that you're trying to promote, whatever your affiliate URL is, just stick that right in there and click this button right here, embed to the following URL content. You can also put in, I don't even know what this stuff is to be honest with you, some other kind of content. Maybe you make your own page or something. Put HTML in there, or no, you can put HTML here, and, and you just got to click the box, obviously. Uh, embed the following page content, style sheets, blah 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 blah. No. Um, okay, so I have this at 0.5. I think that's the default. I just left it as it was. Right here, you have the pop-up height and the pop-up width. 
And you're just going to want to, in pixels, decide how big it is that you want your pop-up. Now, I just, I made it to where if you go to my pop-up, you go on my page, I just wanted it to be to where the plugin didn't make me have a scroll bar on the side or on the bottom. So I just, I made it, set it to where it was just enough pixels to pop up without, I could probably make it a little shorter without having a scroll bar. Okay, so that's, that's that. So if you're using the same page as me, you can use those settings if you prefer or adjust them however you however you like. Um, the delay, I think this again is default. I might have changed it. The default or the, the pop-up delay is basically, you know, when somebody when a fet, when a page is refreshed or they navigate from one page to another, your visitor, uh, how long it's gonna take for the pop-up to come up. And then this is the pop-up speed. Now this just basically determines how fast the pop-up will will show itself. Is it gonna very slowly and gradually come up on the page, or is it gonna pop up really fast? Right. So you can just adjust these settings, and and that's how you'll do that. Close pop-up when clicking on the background. So what this will do is if if you click yes on this, right, and I save changes. Of course, I always want to save changes. I might even go ahead and save changes and refresh cookies. It's probably not a bad idea. Okay, and then I go to here. I can probably refresh this screen. Pop up will come up. And now my user can just click the background and get rid of it. They don't have to click the little X at the bottom. All right? So if you don't have it set that way, they have to they have to click this little X. Otherwise, they can just click that. I think I'm actually going to leave it that way and try it out, see how it goes. So that's basically it. Now just make sure that you always save your changes and probably do save changes and refresh cookies. I did this. I did not push this button one time and noticed that when I made changes to what page I wanted coming up, uh, that this didn't. I needed to click this button. So that's basically it. That's the super pop up. It's very simple to do, very simple to install. So go ahead and pick it up. It's a free download and uh, have fun. All right, my friends. Talk to you later. Bye.